Hello everyone, how are you doing? This is MD Tech here with another quick tutorial. In today's tutorial, I'm going to show you guys how to help you resolve if you're coming across a kernel based that DLL is missing or not found error on your Windows computer. So this could definitely be a frustrating issue and in today's tutorial, I'm going to show you guys how to hopefully address it without too much of a hassle here. And we're going to go ahead and jump right into it. So the first thing I'd suggest doing would be to open up the Star menu, just left click on the Star button one time, type in Device Manager. Best match to come back with Device Manager. Go ahead and left click on that. Now you want to go expand your Display Adapter section. Double click on it or left click arrow next to it. And then whatever Display Adapter is listed under here, you want to right click on it. And then left click on Update Driver Software. So search automatically for updated driver software. It should take a moment, so just please be patient. Okay, so might be able to find a new driver, otherwise select search for updated drivers in Windows Update. Close out of here. Let's address restarting your computer as well. Hopefully that might have been able to address the problem and resolve it. If you're still having a problem, another thing you can try would be to open up the start menu, type in CMD, best match to come back with command prompt. You want to right click on that and then left click on run as administrator. If you receive a user account control prompt, you want to left click on yes. Now in this elevated command line window, you want to type in SFC, space, forward slash, scan now. Scan now should all be one word attached to that forward slash out front. So again, SFC, followed by a space, forward slash, scan now. Hit enter on your keyboard. This will begin a system scan. Please give it some time to run.
Okay, so once it's done, we're we'll just restarting your computer and hopefully it would have been able to resolve your problem. So as always, thank you guys for watching this brief tutorial. I hope I was able to help you out and I do look forward to catching you all in the next tutorial. Goodbye.